getting back out there for some tree jobs today. Uh, a little bit of pruning. I think we got a dead willow we gotta take out. Just just various stuff, you know, just like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. For three degrees temperature rise, we'll have uh, three billion people living so desperate. Alright, here's the cherry tree. It's a nice old one. Uh, not too bad really. It's got a little power line clearance. I gotta do just actually communication lines, not even power lines. But check this out. This whole stem is toasted. And this guy, this guy is just loose, like loose and rocking. So I'll kind of bring this down, try to make a water shedding cut down here, and then from some of this stuff. Time to wake up the neighborhood. Got to take out that bigger stem. That's just so rotten. solid wood, you know, kind of thing you'd want to stick your life on. All right, we'll see how bad the rot is. I'm thinking somewhere down here we might get a little more solid. <laughs> Definitely one of those moments when you kind of start worrying about the tree. I mean, I think they knew it was in bad shape, but I mean, that's just so bad. I, I can't actually, <laughs> I can't actually uh, make a sloped cut here. Normally I'd kind of slope it off to keep the water out, but yeah, that's not happening. There's another rotten hole down there, so I could be the water's draining. Uh, that's it for the cherry it's uh you know it's not the healthiest of cherries but i think it looks pretty good it's got room for the lines clear of the house so it got some shape to it and next up we got to uh take care of a completely toasted willow all right the dead willow we are in search of is over here on the left and man why do i always get the ones that are covered in fungus it's like covered in mushrooms, it's just completely funkified. All right, let's get a close look at this one. It looks pretty skanky. All right, it's got like about 5,000 mushrooms growing on it. And, oh, that's a swamp. I would like to take it down in one piece, but it doesn't want to do that. It kind of, it's got a messed up base. I like that, it's got logs stuck in there. Actually, someone cut that log and left it for me. Look at that. That was like the last guy. Chopped that thing down. Oh, and it's missing an entire side. Uh, so I can peel bits and pieces of it in different directions, but one of those directions is the road. It's a small road. This is complete muck. Now I'm just gonna say that uh, I've been kind of neglecting my saws of late. I usually clean everything and sharpen everything once a week minimum Sunday evenings but I didn't really do that this Sunday so I can't really tell you if this saw is in great shape we'll have to just see how it cuts I'm thinking given the amount of dirt and stuff on here I'm thinking it's kind of dull but fortunately willow is not the hardest of wood so it might work out 
That's my blade. Oh, you know what? My blade is good. I'm remembering now. I think I sharpened the blade and didn't clean the saw. Yeah, the saw is sharp as heck. It's just dirty. So I just sharpened it, but didn't clean it. Oh, what are we gonna do here? I think we'll go in road. I think we just have to go road. I'll try to swing it a little bit out of the road, but I think it's gonna go in there. Yeah, that's the problem with going road. It's not really a tree so much as a bunch of dust. I probably should have had my rake at the ready, but like I said, quiet road. We got a new rake. Oh yeah. All right, pulling out the new rake for this one. All right, good enough. I'm just putting another chunk in the road anyway. I think my battery croaked out in the middle of that one, but you can see I actually kept it out of the road. And what I did here was completely wrong. Just messed up stuff. Don't do this. It, it was wrong. But anyway, it came down. Uh, this one's next. It's not vertical. It wants to go that way. So another funky high notch and it should go down in the grass. I guess I'll put it as close to the road as I can. Just kind of over there. <laughs> involves the decimation of a perfectly good thriving grapevine. All right, so let's just imagine this from the perspective of the grapevine. You've been pretty much doing your job. Hanging out on the trellis, growing, proliferating. Check out the next job. Got the trailer just squeezed in here. I like that. All right, this hemlock has got to come off the house. I think they're putting a new roof on, so trim the hemlock back. This leaning birch is coming out and it's got to kind of swoop to it. Looks like it's going to go over the neighbor's place, but it comes back and it's all pretty vertical. Small drop zone. And then they got two cedars and the one on the right's gonna go. So just because that one's close to the house, they want to take that one out. Again, looks like I'm gonna be climbing that guy. Try to put stuff here. Oh, that's a hemlock pruning. Get the stuff off the house. I guess the birch is next. Oh, drop zone is so tight. I guess if we get this out of the way, which is doing absolutely nothing. And here's another look at the tree. It's got some stuff up there and you can really only put it here. Oh, and the rain's starting. Perfect. I'm not gonna do my whole Robert Frost swinging from birches thing. Even though I like it. Every time I climb a birch, I always think about it. You know, it's like the poem where the, I think the guy sees the birch 
and he sees it's all bent and he assumes there's been kids swinging from it. I assume this one's just bent because it was planted in the wrong spot. Oh, vines. Oh, so many vines. I think I've been spending most of my time so far just cutting the vines away. Top of the tree is vine free. That's like a huge accomplishment. All right, let's see if I can get some of this stuff down and into some kind of vine infested drop zone. There we go. Up and over. Now, it might seem like I want to climb this tree forever, but really? I just want to go to right here. Just so I get this union. Oh, you can see the cedar we're doing. Yon cedar. That's actually two trees. So we'll climb the one on the right, kind of work it down. I think, looks like it pole saw it or something, but it looks kind of impacted. which is kind of never, but usually I would want to clean this up before doing the next tree. Just, you know, get it out of here and stuff, but it's supposed to rain all day and somehow it kind of started and stopped. So we might have a little window to get tree number two. So I'm gonna just chunk this guy, leave the mess, do the cedar. <laughs> Looking pretty good. We got the rat trap, we got the rubber glove. It's all close to everything. Uh, drop zone. We're gonna just pretend this is the drop zone. Let's move this. Maybe this pops off or something. Oh, it's screwed on. That's great. All right, we're just gonna leave that. That's gonna be our challenge, trying to break that thing. <laughs> Tree. This is what, eight, nine inches at the base. <laughs> I'm way out. There we go. Like security camera wire is in like the worst place, but I don't see a way to attach it, so work around it. At least there's no vines over here. So yeah, what is happening with this tree? It looks like it is split in like four ways, and these are all kind of spearable, so oh we can do we can do like a group tie and spear them. Now I'm going to take them one by one right here. Right here. I take you one by one. Now that's like the little guy. You saw that, right? It was, it was really wanting to go that way, but 
Send it this way, kind of. Oh. All right, that notch is half the stem, and it's kind of Dutchmaned out, but. It's about as far as I dare go. There we go. It's kind of coming. It's down. All right, we got a simple question for you. It's almost like a personality profile. If you encounter the plugged up gutter. Your job is not to clean gutters, but do you realign the downspout, fit it into the gutter, and do you clean it out? I mean, it's not your job, right? You're not really like the gutter guy, but it's right there, and it's so much better. I think I gotta have a word with the ground crew about what's going on today. Uh, this job is wrapped up and I guess the video is wrapped up. I should say it's not really like a how-to video we got going on here. There are some fine how-to videos on the YouTube, but this is more the story of how I did it. I appreciate you checking it out.